Did you know if you drop a like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, nothing will happen but it will put a giant smile on my face. Fall Night Chapter 2 Season 8 is officially less than 20 days from starting, and with it being Kevin the Cube's birthday, August 24th, 2021, it's 3 year anniversary at the time of me recording this video. As you guys know in this leaked list of Season 8 information, this was one of the points made that Kevin the Cube would be returning, and we've already seen this in the Rift Tour and the Imposters LTM, but despite a lot of this information already coming true, such as the Ariana Grande concert and members from the Suicide Squad or Justice League, such as Bloodsport being reintroduced to the item shop, let's just say as you can see by the title of today's video, we know exactly what's going to be going down in the Season 8 trailer that we're going to be revealing, as this exact same insider that leaked this information has came out stating more not just about the live events that will be happening to end off this season and transitioning us into the next one, but obviously then how that's going to affect or look in the cinematic trailer for Chapter 2 Season 8. This video is going to be perhaps one of the most important you watch until the end of today, so of course make sure you're sticking around and watching the full thing. It would not only make my day, but my pug Gus's. He's still been kind of sad as of recently, considering 70% of you still aren't subscribed to the channel, which is all eyes on screen right now watching the video. And after all, in case you knew and didn't know, subscribing can only benefit you as it not only keeps you up to date with everything going on in the world of Fortnite, but I do get 5 subscribers every day, which is soon to be hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of the Season 8 Battle Pass. Until I can do that though on the release of this next season, which is said to be September 12th, make sure you're simply subscribing to the channel with all notifications turned on, and then comment your Epic Games ID down below. So perhaps you could be showcased on screen like this in front of thousands of eyes to see in the next video, or when Season 8 releases releases, you could be gifted that lovely Mythic Battle Pass. But with all that said now, enough messing around, we need to dive into all of this information, go over everything, and then ultimately show you guys at the end of the video, once everything makes sense, a very cool looking Season 8 trailer. Okay, so our first piece of information is something that we've never been revealed to before this in advance, the three next months for what will be included in the Fortnite Crew subscription. The reason these are important to mention is because they have ties to Season 8, or even confirming some of the new leaks on the brand new list that this insider came out stating about not only only our brand new live event to end off Season 7, but the Season 8 cinematic trailer. Here is the tweet on screen in mention anywhere, stating the first Enforcer, the first Redeemed, and the first Pardon. The most secret of Midas' operatives are joining the Fortnite crew starting September 2021. Learn more about the first Shadows and what's coming to the Fortnite crew over the next three months from clicking that link, and upon clicking that link, despite this tweet obviously attaching this really cool artwork of the three skins we're going to be getting, obviously with Midas looking at all of them, as you can see below this image itself in the article upon clicking that link, Link. Coming to the Fortnite crew over the next three months are the first Shadows, three unlikely allies united by a genius who saw their potential. September's crew pack brings Burning Wolf, Midas' first Enforcer, October's crew pack then brings Chaos Origins, Midas' first Redeemed, and finally November's crew pack brings Sierra, Midas' first Pardoned. As usual, each crew pack arrives at approximately 8pm EDT slash 7pm EST on the eve of the new month. Obviously from taking a look at this image again, we now know the names of the skins, so the one on the left being Burning Wolf, the September crew pack skin, the first look we have of it. The second one being Chaos Origins, which was actually leaked in the Apple vs Epic Court hearing in this big leaked list of skins anyways that Hypex actually managed to pinpoint here in this tweet. And finally, last but not least, the November crew pack skin being Sierra on the right here. The interesting thing about all three of these characters, despite them probably being involved in future cinematic trailers for upcoming seasons, maybe not just for Season 8, but maybe Season 9 too, as being subscribed for all three, the title states below, equals bonus styles. To follow up that subtitle, it states below, how did Midas find these three? Stay tuned as each operative's backstory comes to light as they step from behind closed doors as an extra in November. Subscribed players who've obtained all three of the first shadows will be rewarded a bonus style for each character. And oh yeah, before I forget, this is one of the selectable styles, or should I say the bonus style that will be obtaining for Sierra that Hypex again managed to find from everything that's been leaked previously. Don't forget, as soon as we get a trailer, whether it's introducing all three or involving all three, or just even for the Burning Wolf skin for the September crew pack. I'll have that posted here on the channel as soon as it drops, so make sure you subscribe with all notifications turned on to get and see that as soon as it is posted. Anyways, despite that being breaking news, something very interesting that I figured you guys would want to hear about, it actually correlates to our next piece of information now, as it almost validifies everything else on this brand new leaked list of information from this insider over on Reddit. As Hypex states on screen or breaks it down as easy as possible, the insider leaker posted more information on r slash Fortnite leaks. This time he revealed a Shang-Chi collab, 
collab and event countdown date. As you can see on this list, we not only have other crossover skins and even the first Shadow set being revealed to be coming for the Fortnite crew very soon and now that has been confirmed, so that kind of confirms everything else on here. And even despite us already knowing we're getting the Will Smith Mike Lowry skin from Bad Boys 2, I believe, despite us still yet to see anything to do with the Shang-Chi collaboration, we obviously have the Season 8 news which is further more interesting. As you can see, it states something codenamed Skyfire will start counting down on the 3rd of September. Also, the Sideways, which was mentioned in his last leak list of information, which a lot of has already come true, will definitely be confirmed to be an alternate dimension. And then the final point, which everybody wanted to hear with Kevin the Cube's birthday being yesterday when I'm recording this video or uploading it, yes, he is confirmed to be coming back more so than the appearance than we've just seen him in, in this Rift Tour event in this kind of bubble right here, or in the Imposters LTM as a little Easter egg. I've showcased this clip in other videos, but here is a concept made by a very clever person over on Twitter who will be linked in the video description down below of what this may look like based off the location of which this image shows, which was inside the bubble during the Rift Tour that we obviously couldn't see very well in-game, but Datamine has managed to pull out of the files. And now that you guys are aware of this list, this is where the video gets really interesting, so don't go anywhere and make sure you're paying even more attention than you perhaps were before. First thing to note about this Skyfire event is ultimately what's going to be happening in it, as the processes actually did get leaked, which we're going to be going over now. The first and most important map change that we're going to be seeing revealed in the V17.50 update, which will be releasing early next week as it's currently on the staging servers according to data miners, is what we can only see in replay mode right now below Corny Complex, being the bomb that's obviously been designed and finalised based off these holographic instructions off the holograms themselves on these boards, which is supposedly what seems to be a mothership bomb. As you guys may or may not know, in the voice recordings on the phone around the map, or the phone should I say, the portable ones at the these kind of bus stations. Dr. Sloan actually talks be about a countermeasure being put in a place or weapons being developed, should I say, to actually bring down the mothership and make it crash land into the map. This obviously being a counter-attack to what the aliens seem to be doing now trying to take over the island and the IO's way of preventing them doing this more so. So hence why, as Fortori stated right here, it's underneath the codename countermeasure bomb in the files. In terms of going forward toward this live event happening, however, we're actually going to be involved in it with quests surrounding it. As Fortori actually managed to find in the files yesterday too, these are orbs that you need to collect for the countermeasure bomb and that these orbs have the same texture as Kevin the Q. So could this be Kevin the Orb? Here is the video that he attached in the background. It's very short, like 13 seconds long. But what do you guys think, considering they'll be in the game very soon alongside even more quests perhaps surrounding this countermeasure bomb or whatever we're going to be calling it anyways, codenamed Skyfire for the event? If it wasn't clear enough, here are some high quality closer up pictures showing the Kevin runes across this sphere in itself. So maybe perhaps this, with it being involved with the countermeasure bomb, which we definitely know needs to be inside the mothership for the event, abducted, which we're going to be going further in depth on in just a second. This then turns this Kevin the Cube-like substance into its cube form again and spits it back down onto the island as a part of its reaction, or the result of this action with the bomb being sucked up into the mothership abducted, with the aliens convinced it's good, but then blowing them up. With that said, though, we actually have the leak scripting or order for what's going to be taking place during the event very briefly from the codename Kiwi of the live event itself being leaked from the files. First of all, it basically goes over how there's going to be some sort of beam shining and then there's going to be some sort of warning light warm up for the mothership, which I'm guessing the beam is coming from. This then abducting us as the players and forcing us inside the mothership where perhaps Kevin the Cube is located. Maybe the aliens have harnessed its energy and recreated it. And from there, considering we've touched the cube, it looks like we're going to be teleported to somewhere else with keywords or coding such as handles the effects when the player is in the vortex. Then it goes on to say, things like hangar, islands, observation room, prison, space, so it looks like we're going to be on quite the journey during this event taking place. But perhaps the most important thing to note of, despite us knowing that this bomb needs to be abducted, as Dr. Sloan also says in her recordings off these phones, one of the final strings of coding actually ends in cube zap, so does this mean, after everything's taken place, the cube is actually back on the island and zaps us like it did normally when approaching it in Chapter 1 Season 5 when it initially spawned in on the outskirts of Paradise Palms. And if this is the case anyways, we know Kevin, despite him being able to move, whether he's in floating island form or just across the map on the ground, he won't have long to reach a said destination to perhaps sink into like Loot Lake or something like that in the final days of Chapter 2 Season 7 before the trailer releases for the next season. Or even who knows, we may go straight into downtime like we did after the Black Hole event leading into Chapter 2, or from Chapter 2 Season 4's live event, The Devourer of Worlds, with Galactus again going into downtime straight away for Season 5. Either way, to conclude everything we know so far, we know Kevin the Cube's going to be involved in the next trailer based off what happens in this live event with him returning to the island indefinitely. And also something
something that I haven't mentioned yet, despite the fact that Kevin the Cube's files and even the Storm Kings that did return during the Rift Tour, both of these, were updated quite a while ago, the Devourer's files were too, so does this mean the Polar Pink Monster could be returning? And with that, Singularity, who manned or operated the Mecha Robot, that maybe perhaps is revamped from this colourful stage into its chrome style. And as you guys know, Donald Mustard talked about the Singularity being one of this character's name, so perhaps this is also a snapshot of the Paradigm, who's one of the seven too, which then would make sense for the return of the Mecha Robot, and obviously the Paradigm being further more involved in the storyline or more of a forefront, as Donald Mustard again stated. And with that information in mind, I'm going to leave you guys with this trailer now made by Feralzi, who will be linked in the video description down below, so make sure to go and show him some love, subscribe to his channel. If you enjoyed this video of mine, however, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel yourself with all notifications turned on, as still 70% of you for whatever reason aren't subscribed, I don't know. But without making you guys wait furthermore, I present you this Season 8 really cool looking trailer.